Hello viewers, I am Dr. Rahul Reddy. In this video, we will cover the drugs which are commonly given for premature ejaculation. So, in that commonly SSRIs, many people ask me doctor whether to take fluoxetine or whether to take peroxetine or whether to take depoxetine. These are the three medications which are commonly prescribed by, prescribed by any urologist or andrologist. So, now fluoxetine, see all these three are SSRIs and long term uses is not recommended. Long term uses in the sense years together these medications are not recommended. Maximum we give is around 3 to 6 months after that we have to stop it. So, now uh, first medication what we always prescribe is fluoxetine. The doses starts from 20 milligrams, 40 milligrams, 60 milligrams. But see for anti-anxiety you have to start with higher doses. Psychiatrists, generally psychiatrists will start at 40 and, uh, six, 40 and 60 or 80. But we always restrict fluoxetine doses to 20 milligrams. And it is a very good medication. But there are very and, uh, and also side effects wise there are minimal side effects. You have to take it for at least for 2 to 3 months. Second one, peroxetine. Peroxetine uh, is definitely better than fluoxetine, but problem is if you take peroxetine high doses, then you may feel sleepy. So, always your peroxetine doses should be very less 10 milligrams or 12.5 milligrams. And depoxetine is always, it is only an on demand drug. You cannot take depoxetine for long time. Whenever you want to have intercourse like how you take sildenafil or uh, tadalafil before intercourse, same thing can be taken along with either tadalafil or sildenafil, 30 milligrams of uh, depoxetine can be taken. But since it is a uh, SOS drug, even side effects are on the higher side. Sometimes common side effects are headache, vomiting sensation, bowel disturbance. Uh, loose tools, uh, heaviness in the head, these are the common side effects of depoxetine. Whereas, peroxetine and fluoxetine, if they are taken in low dose, they are uh, almost safe. In 90, 90 to 95 percent of patients, we do not see any side effects. But what if these medications are not working? See, now suppose if you are already giving uh, 10 milligrams of peroxetine and it is not working. Can we increase it to 20 milligrams? So, their side effects will start. So, sometimes some patients they need up to 40, uh, 40 milligrams of uh, fluoxetine or higher doses, 25 milligrams of peroxetine or 50 milligrams. There, why we do not prescribe is the moment we increase these drugs, you feel drowsy. Sometimes you lose interest, your libido will come down. So, that is the reason we uh, add nutraceuticals to this. There are so many herbal nutraceuticals which work similar to them and they are much safer. So, always that is the re reason we always combine uh, peroxetine or fluoxetine with these herbal medications. And herbal medications they come in uh, different, uh, different composition. We have to make sure these are safe, safe and manufactured by uh, standard uh, man, uh, manufacturing plants. See generally what happens if it is manufactured in a very small plant, we do not know what they have mixed because quality assurance also is difficult. That is why uh, these herbal medications you have to pick very carefully. So, now if you give in a mixture, in a combination, these medications will work very well. But whereas depoxetine, it is only on demand drug. If your sexual frequency is once in a month or say once in a week, then instead of taking these medications, you can depend on uh, on demand depoxetin 30 milligrams and you can take a, you can use sprays, localized sprays. There are so many sprays like lidocaine gel uh, or prelox gel. There are so many gels or sprays, multiple companies are producing sprays. You can use these sprays for premature ejaculation. So, coming to this sprays, I will make one more video. 
So, how to use these sprays for premature ejaculation? So, keep watching. Thank you viewers.